Hey there, welcome back to Mastering Kinemaster. So I was putting together the tutorial for Blending Modes Part 2, and I came up with this. And I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. I'm going to do something that I don't normally do. I'm going to do just a tutorial on how to recreate this exact effect. And what this exact effect is, is having green screen content with something overlaid over it like a flag or like clouds or maybe you use the ocean. That's your choice. But if you like the idea of learning how to do this step by step, I'm not going to go in depth about the whys or too much of that, but just you'll be able to recreate this technique. Remember, if you like my content, like and subscribe. And if if you want to how to learn how to turn yourself into a flag, come on and join me on the other side. In order to achieve this effect, we are going to start with one project where we're going to make the headshot and then we're going to export that and bring it to another project. We need to do this because we need to be able to key out the background entirely of the headshot project. So I'm going to show you how we do that first. So I've got this project and this is what the final will look like. Starting with a fresh project, we put a black background clip because everything we're going to be doing is layers. The next thing that we do is, and that's just a solid color of black background. The next thing that we do is we add our first layer, which is our green screen content. And I'm adding it. I've put it in my favorites and it is the content of me. I go ahead and I'm going to chroma key my green screen made content. And I have videos about all of these stuff, layers, chroma keying, and you can look them up again. I'm moving quickly in this to just show you how the project works. So we get a decent chroma key. I'm not going to do it perfectly because I'm moving quickly and then I'm going to go ahead and scale it up. And so what's important now, this step is something new and different. So I'll explain it to you is we want to get rid of all of the color of me because we want to pick up the color from the flag or from the ocean or whatever it is that we're going to use. So we go into the adjustment of any layer has this possibility and this is a color uh, and brightness adjustment. And what we're going to do is we're going to take all of the saturation out of it. So this when we apply the blending mode of the content over it, then it'll pick up all the colors. <clears throat> Another important thing to do here is what this trick is, is using black as the chroma key color. And so that means that we want all of the areas of darkness of me not to actually be black, but be some level of gray because then they will not get picked up by the chroma key when we chroma key out the black. Now there's a little bit of a shadow that I would work on here, but I'm not going to do it. So I increased the brightness and what that does is everything that you're seeing in my definition is no longer pure black. It is some form of gray in this area. You might want to also adjust. You can increase the level of the shadows slightly, and this adds more brightness levels to shadows as well. So basically you want your green screen content that you want to show through not to have any pure blacks in it. Okay. So then we go ahead and we go back out. <clears throat> we select, we are good with that. And then we're going to add our flag layer or whatever that we want to add. I took a look on some stock footage places and there's all kinds of uh, content of flags from whatever country you want. Also, I thought about doing an ocean of clouds. There's lots of different things. Just go with your imagination on this. I'm going to add this layer on top and the flag shows up. And here is the part that's really cool is that in blending modes, I'm going to go ahead and go down to blending. Now, the, I'm having tutorials about blending modes, but when you hit overlay. If there's black, then it doesn't show the content. So the flag just shows up over me, you can see. And so now I'm going to go ahead and say, yes, that's what I want. And then I'm going to resize this and I can reposition and specifically here, because I didn't do that good of a job, this area by my neck is appearing. Um, but uh, in my green screen tutorial, I explain how to help get rid of that. So then you can reposition your flag or whatever your content is. So you get the look and feel that you want. And then in addition, you can go into the properties of that flag or whatever it is, go into the adjustment and make some color changes in here. You can increase the saturation. You can increase 
uh, the vibrance of it. And I found that if I wanted to make myself look more blue, I could change the color temperature. So my overall look, my the grays in me and the whites in me start to pick up blue. So this was a really rough job of it, uh, but this is basically the technique. Use overlay, uh, make your content that you're trying to lay over entirely grayscale by desaturating it, and then adjust the colors in the overlaid image. And there you have the product. The next step is to output this and go ahead and check. We are good with this, even though I'm not happy. Um, I would do more detailing on it, but then we go ahead and we go to export and you'll notice I have my export for this set to high. If you watch my export video, when I'm uploading stuff to the web, I do not export it this high. However, to reuse this in the other video, I put it on high because I wanted his best quality to be reused because I'm going to use the color key. So we're going to stop the export process and we're going to move on to the next part where we import it into the other video. Now we're ready to move our headshot into our main composition, which I have stored the headshot in my favorites folder and you can see it. I'm going to add it there. My background that I'm using is my intro background image and it shows up. And then what we're going to do, as noted before, is we're going to chroma key out black. I have a good tutorial on chroma key about all of these settings and to make it really good, you're probably going to watch that. But I'm going to go ahead and enable this and then show mask and then the key color you'll see that it will pick some color from your composition. It picked red for me. I need to change that to black. I go ahead and go in here and there's a couple of ways you can do this, but if you use the color wheel, you slide it all the way to black. All that matters is that that is 0000. Also, this version will be all black. This is another KineMaster version to do that. Check the box there. Then you move these sliders and I've already learned by practice where this slider is for this composition, but you'll want to adjust those and and you want to get a good knockout as long as you made your composition well and increased the grays in the what you want to show to be all gray and no blacks then you should have a good cutout like this i'm going to go ahead and i am going to unshow the mask and yeah it looks good go out of that we can scale this up here and boom we have a great uh composited me as an american flag and i did i put it up against a couple of other backgrounds so that you can see you can use whatever background that you choose to do it something that matches well for you for your content and what you want this is where i am using it right now and that's all that you really need to get this fun and interesting effect for your green screen content in your own projects i hope that you enjoyed that let me give you another couple of ideas where you might be able to use this technique. How about for your favorite sports team or for your school or for your business or promoting your website? Just take the idea and run with it. But I do want to say this is that my normal tutorials are more about how to use KineMaster than actually just one specific effect technique. That said, come back and check out my other stuff because you'll learn a lot about KineMaster. And also like and subscribe, come back again and get out there and make some stuff with the most amazing video editing application that's out there, my favorite. Kinda Master. See you the next time. Kinda Master.